Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we are at the A-Vision headquarters in Sinchu in Taiwan. So these guys are pretty well known for making a bunch of different kinds of scanners and printers. So if you've ever wondered how a gadget like this gets on the market through all of its testings, I get a little bit of a behind the scenes to check out some of the uh, drop tests and shake tests and electromagnetic tests that go on. So why don't we head uh, down the hall and check it all out. So here we have a scanner. And basically every electronic device will put off uh, an electromagnetic uh, radio frequency. So what we have going on here is these two antennas will move up and down in this, in this isolation room. Won't be doing it while I'm here because I'd like to avoid that kind of radiation. But basically these are going to move up and down and then this table is going to spin around. Right, so any, any US product is going to have to receive a FCC certification for radio frequency safety. So it's basically when the components talk to each other, uh, they're going to like, emit like a radio bandwidth, I guess. So this is just making sure that uh, they're going to pass. So I thought this was kind of neat because the table moves, the scanner's making sounds, and those remind me of the holodeck. So carrying on in the scanner drop test safety area, so this is where you would put the scanner, then it would go all the way up there, then they would drop it. Also in this room, there's the guys on the tour, hi guys. All right, so also in this room is a vibration test. So basically they're gonna put the scanner on there and they're gonna jiggle it around in that box because they wanna know if it's gonna break by the time they get there. So have you guys ever run your feet across the carpet and then touched something and given someone a shock? Well, this, uh, this little gun here is actually simulating an electro, what was it? Electromagnetic static charge? <laughs> electrostatic an electrostatic discharge. So essentially, if you were to run your feet across a carpet and then touch this machine, this basically makes sure the machine isn't gonna break. So if I were to put my finger on the end of that gun, I would get quite a little shock. So I don't know about you, but being from Canada, once I left my PDA in my car, and it was minus 15 outside, and then the PDA never really worked quite properly. Well, so this is a room that actually simulates different temperatures. So right now it's about 17.5, I think that's what it said out here. You can go back and check. So you can actually adjust the temperature on the outside and the humidity as well so that you can test your devices in various climates. So let's head in. Minus 20 to go up to 65. Okay. Celsius. Yeah. Okay. Walking conditions are from, uh, from 5 degrees to 35 degrees. Degrees Celsius. So that's just been a sneak peek behind the scenes here at AVision. I'm your host, Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And while you're at it, why don't you like this video?